Good day everyone! Are you ready for another day of learning and fun? Let's enter the world of traditional games with a bang! I am Sarah Wan and this is One on One! Welcome to One on One, a game show that will introduce you to the world of traditional games. We're going to play and have fun while we are learning. Isn't that wonderful? For today's episode, we invited some guests again. If we had three guests last time, today we'll have two teams. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have our wanderers! Let's get started! What traditional game are we going to play today? Our game for today is an example of striking or fielding games. It is not your common sports. It is a game played in the suburbs and rural areas of the Philippines. The game makes use of two sticks, one longer than the other. The longer stick will serve like a bat and the shorter stick serves like the hit. Your game is Shatong. Shatong is our game for today. And I know that some of you are not really familiar with this game. But don't worry, because you'll surely learn today. Wanderers, are you ready? Round 1. Let's check what you know about the game. Each team will choose a representative per question. The first person to raise a flag will be the one to answer. Good luck! Now that you know how to play round one, let's start! Question number one. Shatong is an example of what kind of game? Striking or field game! Yes! <laughs> Striking or field game is correct. Yo! <laughs> Question number two. What equipment do we need in playing shuttle? Two sticks. Yes. Two sticks? You got it right. Question number three. What is being shouted while playing shuttle? Shuttle! Shuttle is correct. Question number four. Where do we play Shatong? Oh, yun, yun. Playing field or outdoor? Outdoor or playing field? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. What game in the Middle East is similar to Shatong? Time's up. The game in the Middle East which is similar to Shatong is Gutala Guti. Round 2. There are different skills needed in playing Shatong. Let's rearrange the following jumbled letters to form the answer. We have five words for this round. Let's start. First word. The word is running. Second word. The word is batting. Number three. The word is hitting. Number four. The word is counting. 
And the last word. The word is catching. Let me give you the following safety precautions. First, make sure you are free from any sickness and your body can handle this activity. Ask your doctor or your parents first. Second, avoid clothing that is too tight or that restricts movement. Shatong is a traditional game which is not commonly played in some areas. Players will be divided into two teams. The first group will be the hitters and the other group will be the catchers. To identify who will play first, each team will be given a chance to toss the stick. The concept of the game is to hit the shorter stick with the longer stick as far as it can go. If the other team fails to catch the stick, the pointing system will be based on the distance from where the stick landed to the base. It will be measured using the longer stick. The fun part of the game is, the player who caught the stick must bring the stick back to the base while shouting, Shato! That's it. Congratulations to our winners. And I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from today's episode. Remember, have an active lifestyle. Having engaged in active games like this is more helpful to your health than just sitting in a corner playing mobile games. Let's also not forget this traditional game.
Good day everyone! Are you ready for another day of learning and fun? Let's enter the world of traditional games with a bang! I am Saddle One and this is One on One! Welcome to One on One, a game show that will introduce you to the world of traditional game. We're going to play and have fun while we are learning. For today's episode, let me introduce to you our guest for today. We have two teams to play. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our Wanderers! Go Red! Go Red! Go! Let's get started! What traditional game are we going to play for today? Our game for today is a traditional game that is very popular in the Philippines. Before, this game was only played during barrio fiesta or feast. This was played mostly by children, but now it can also be played by adults during birthday parties, Christmas celebrations, or any other occasions. This game is Basagang Palayok. It's Basagang Palayok. Have you ever tried this game? It's a very well-known game, but let's get closer to Basagang Palayok today. Let's start round one. Question number one. Basagang Palayok is an example of what kind of game? answer is, a striking game. The goal of the game is to heat the clay pot. Question number two. Give at least two equipment needed in playing Basagang Palayo. Clay pot and bamboo are the answers. Aside from clay pots and a bamboo, we also need a blindfold. Question number three. What can be found inside the clay pot? The answer? Candies, chocolates, coins, and small toys. Question number four. What game in Spain is similar to Basagang Palayo? The answer is piñata. Fiestas were actually used to attract the native Filipinos to convert their religion. Last question. Where should Basagang Palayok be played? The answer is outdoor. We need a bigger space to do this game and to secure everyone's safety. Let me give you the following safety precautions. First, make sure you are free from any sickness and your body can handle this activity. Ask your doctor or your parents first. Second, avoid clothing that is too tight or that restricts movement. During the game, do not come closer to the pot. Stay away from the heater and stay focused. For our second and final round for today, let's play Basagang Palayok! The rules of the game are so simple. You just have to heat the palayok or clay pot. Player should be blindfolded. The player will stay around 3 meters away in front of the hanging pot. Enough for the player to reach it and will walk straight towards the pot. 
a long bamboo or lumber is used to hit it. Participants are made to spin around to distort his or her concentration. The crowd will distract the player by yelling all kinds of directions. Once you hit the pot, the crowd goes for the goodies to fall on the ground from the pot. The player who breaks the pot will win the game and will be given a prize. And that's how we play Masagang Palayok. For today, each team will choose a representative who will hit the clay pot, while the other teammates will try to guide him or her by shouting the directions. But it will not be easy because the other teams will try to distract the hitter. All right, let the game begin! That's it. I really enjoyed this game. I did it. I hit it. And you too. I hope that you enjoyed and learned a lot from today's episode. What I've learned from playing Basagam Palayok? We should learn how to listen, especially to those who know what's best for us. Just like our parents, grandparents, teachers, and everyone who wants to impart good things to us. Thank you for being with us today. 
see you again for another episode filled with fun and learning. Once again, I am Seven One, and this is One on One. Goodbye and have a wonderful day.